most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Unmistakably, this is the Camp Nou staging a game in the way only the Camp Nou can. A mouth-watering game, this, between two very high-quality sides. A treat for everybody here. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals i suspect i've probably overstretched my my level of greed here so it's down to business here daniel alves messi now it's eto He's left his man. It's Eto! Saved only by poor finishing. Barcelona are looking quite mean on the counter, and combating that requires even more meanness. Daniel Alves. Henri. Nicely measured pass. He's off on a Maru. Eto! And he's there to make a great save. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Daniel Alves. Now it's Eto. Comes under pressure and it's come loose. Pushes it out wide. Yaya Toure. Gets it back. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. He's through the middle. Big chance. Shoots! Relief, it just needed better contact. All he'd be thinking is, please, ground, swallow me up. Iniesta. Cuts it out. Cesc Fabregas. Still goalless at the moment. Henri. Maxwell looks to clip it forward. Looking to shoot. Cleared without complication. Eto. He's picked him out. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He's made certain that won't get through. Aimed long and direct. Xavi. Right through the middle. Lovely bit of skill there. Goes for goal! That's 
got a rattled. Gets up to hit it. Gets good distance on it. There's the end of the first half. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. The midway point of the game. Barcelona ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in this second half. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. We're probably into the second 45 minutes. Barcelona can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline... He'll have a dip! There it is! Well, that's what top players do. They can seize the initiative almost single-handedly, and that goal eases them in front once more to make this second half look a little more promising. Pretty simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking, and the finish was made a lot easier. Barcelona take the lead. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? Xavi. Beautifully done. It's a fabulous position. He's tried one. Barcelona are definitely going about this the right way. Well, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Spot on, Peter. There's no sign here of forwards working back. They are staying upfield. They are, Peter, and it gives them a chance to, to break, but it's also causing a, an extra defensive presence to, to prevent that. Looking for space out wide. Battles to win it back. Now it's Eto. Shakes the shoots. It's in. There seemed no way back, but they are level. Barcelona are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki-taka at its very best, and they back it up with goals. Barcelona grab the equaliser. It's Eto! And no, he couldn't find the finish. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. Barcelona have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it. And I think that's happened in this case. Tried to play it through. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. a real chance missed. <laughs> Barcelona can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Oh, he's got a crucial block in there. Danger averted for now. 
Busquets! Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. PK. Out to the left it goes. And he's going long. And the assistant referee has his flag raised for offside. The 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Yeah, this has been a hard-fought game, Peter. There's been a healthy dose of drive and ambition, and sometimes that isn't rewarded with goals, just like this one. I've seen a lot worse, though. So 90 minutes, couldn't produce a winner. And we have extra time. Into extra time we go. And the weighted pass. He's got away. Gorgeous control there. Is it in? What about that? And that has raised the roof. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it. He chose placement instead and delivered a peach. Barcelona go into the lead. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. Oh, good interception. And now the breakaway, going through. Eto. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. Now it's Eto. Eto, Sergio Busquets, he spotted the run and played him through, gets into some space, swept in, well, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Extra time reaches half-time, oh, what a comeback. Certainly, I didn't see that coming, nor I think did many in this crowd. Well, there's plenty of potential for a final twist in this tale. I think there's bound to be some late drama in the final 15 minutes of this epic. And the action has already restarted. They have given it everything. It's been grueling. But who will be standing at the very end? Eto. Messi. It's come loose. Out wide to the right. Has a pop. It's in. We thought it was over. It's all square once more. Barcelona produced a lovely sequence of passes there. It's a terrific brand of football to watch, and importantly, it has a strong end product. So all square with almost no time remaining. Attempts to play it through. And he's whipped it in low. And it's hoisted clear. Crosses it in low. He's been taken down, and the referee has pointed at the spot. Barcelona, with the clock ticking away, have a chance to change the whole picture. He'll know exactly where he wants to put it. it and the referee blows i can only applaud the sheer doggedness and tenacity on show in watching both teams refusing to lose i mean they both ran their socks off 
Well, the players look exhausted, but one last act. We're back in a moment for penalties. Right on the edge. Feel the moment. So, the first penalty. And he puts the one up. I thought he did really well to hold his nerve then and score that penalty. Cooley done, one each. He just did what he was asked. So, the second man in line. Right in the corner. Well, he strolled up and struck that with great confidence. That's a superb spot kick. So, the second man in line. Oh, he cannot score. Oh, that's so unlucky to hit the goal frame. Barcelona can go two ahead. Great stop, keepers denied him. He's so focused there, fantastic save. The third man in the queue. Ah, oh, the keepers guessed right, but couldn't keep it out. He steps up to take the fourth penalty. And he's hit the post. Oh, we're talking inches. Such are the uh, the fine margins. Saved. Keeper's done brilliantly. Well, that's great concentration from the keeper and a wonderful save. He was always looking good there. Nice penalty. So it's down to him to keep it alive. Saved it! And that's that! What a match, what a comeback. That is how to respond to adversity. Truly deserving winners. Well, there's really nothing quite like the excitement of a penalty shootout, and they'll be absolutely delighted to have edged it their way. Well, thanks to Jim alongside me, and as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you. Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games unmistakably this is the camp new staging a game in the way of oh, lovely idea just didn't get it right well it could have been and probably should have been a, a different choice of finish there was lower space to hit into the middle Well, just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push uh, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Iniesta. Piquet. Triol. over the line played into space out wide danger averted for now it's it back Iniesta. Tries to get it forward. 
forward quickly. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, he just had too many touches, and he was asking for it to be pinched off him. Well read, he sorted that out. Battles to win it back. He's got away. Iniesta. And a shot! Oh, the keeper's equal to it. Barcelona know they can rely on the counter, and they've just expressed a warning. Iniesta. Pushes it out wide. Tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. He's got options out wide. That is terrific skill. Great. He's had a go! He's scored! First blood drawn. Oh, high-quality goal. Lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. A 1-0 lead established. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Aubrey! Good save. Keeper read that well. Well, chance. There's the half-time whistle. And there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. I'm sure they'll be very happy with the first half performance and the scoreline. They'll definitely want to maintain their momentum now and finish the job. Barcelona come off having scored the only goal of the game so far. It's been tight, it's been exciting. There is certainly plenty for us to chew on during the break. And we're already back on the way here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough. Up to meet it! He's done very well to get to that. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. TK. Xavi. Forward it goes. Plays it out to the flank. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. Barcelona have a free kick. That's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Plays it long. Going through. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. It's anyone's ball. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. And it's got through. Has a swing at it. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Goes for goal! Really well taken goal! Two up now, and they are cruising! Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they paid the price and deserved to. Barcelona have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarizing effect. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given.
punching tackle. That's surely a foul free kick. We can assume that they've been instructed by the boss to, to stay in attack. They're just looking to break, aren't they? Yeah, the key now is just to get the ball to them as soon as possible. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Now it's Eto. The helps available out wide. He's left his man. Can he finish? They are rampant. And they are cruising away. Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well. But the keeper straight into no man's land. Barcelona are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big thing. Eto with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. PK. He's come through and he's had a quick look inside. Aimed long and direct. Crosses it in low. Played out to the right. Gets it back. The question that's a foul. Piquet. Maxwell. Iniesta. Chip through. Nice little flick. Goalkeeper's ball. Xavi. Triol. <laughs> Messi. Well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Forward it goes. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. Barcelona enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Barcelona can certainly give themselves a pat on the back for a job well done. They have a togetherness that makes them very hard to beat.